Hello. With the rise of popularity of Twitter among our staff, I thought I'd just take a quick moment and talk about a few great, you know, different ways to access Twitter on the computer. Uh, the first way that most people are probably familiar with is using the Twitter website. When you log into twitter.com, it presents your tweets, and this is kind of the interface most people are familiar with. But an, a, a better way, maybe, is to try out the Twitter application that's available for you to download. Uh, the Twitter app is free, and if you go to the Mac App Store by going up to the Apple menu and going down to App Store, you can search for it and download, and the Twitter app presents your tweets in a timeline, and then you can kind of tweet and follow your mentions and replies and direct messages, all from a native app. Now, Twitter isn't the only company that makes applications that you can tweet from. One of my personal favorites here is called TweetBot, and it's made by a, a company called TapBots. And the TweetBot app is really slick. It, again, is available from the App Store. And it, it, instead of being free, though, it is a little bit pricey at $19.99. However, for that $19.99, you get some additional features that the Twitter client doesn't have. Uh, namely, you can go ahead and really quickly switch through lists of different users. So if you wanted to have a list of just West Side people or a list of educators or sports commentators, you can create that. Um, the direct messages are a little bit easier. It's almost like an instant messaging client that it has built in. It has some built-in link shorteners. So if you drag images over into your tweets, it'll automatically upload and shorten it. And you can even view conversations that are happening. So if you see a tweet that somebody's replied to, you can see the whole story of it. And you can go ahead and create a multi-column view that you can set up with different categories of tweets. And so while it's a little pricey at $19.99, if you're really into Twitter, it is very, very helpful. Another very popular option here that a lot of people use is an application called TweetDeck. And it's created by Twitter, and it's actually a Chrome app that you can install. And so in Chrome, I can click Apps, and I can go to the App Store. And then once the App Store loads up, I can just search for TweetDeck. And so it pops up right here. I'll search for TweetDeck. And I can go ahead and I can click Install. I can click Add. And now it's going to show up in my Chrome Apps page next to Drive and Gmail. And when I open it up here, it'll let me sign in. All right, now that I'm signed in, I can see here I get a Welcome to TweetDeck. And I can go ahead and click Get Started. And I can see here I have different columns, and I can go ahead and I can rearrange and move these columns around. I can delete them or remove it, so maybe I don't want my messages showing, so I'll remove my messages. But it gives me a lot of what the Twitter app has, only I can do some of the things that TweetBot does. So maybe I want to have an economics list, and I want to add that column. So now everything that is related to economics will show up here and I can see that you know I got the KC Fed, the Economist, some different organizations there I can look at, my activities, my notifications I can see so if somebody mentions me it'll show up and so this is just another way and it's all browser based and so if you have your profile set up in Chrome um, if you sign into Chrome on different computers it'll sync the columns, it'll sync the lists and it's all available right there in the browser. So I talked about the Twitter website. You can download the Twitter app. You check out TweetBot for the Mac. Or if you want another free option, you can check out TweetDeck in Chrome. So those are a few ways that you can access Twitter a little more quickly and a little more readily on your Mac. Thank you.